Greetings, comrades, and I come to you at a time where we're just about to enter the next realm of chaos door hole spawns. <laughs> what the... <laughs> what the fuck's a door hole? Anyway, the chaos guys are coming. <laughs> I don't know why I'm having a short time recovering from door hole. Anyway, um... Jesus Christ... Anyway, we had an opportunity to fight the Norsicans in front of the Grand Bastion, and I was hoping it would be an epic battle. Alright, here we go. Got everybody on the walls here, pretty much. Okay, good enough for me. Holy shit. They're just getting slaughtered on the walls. I would not want to be attacking that. Look at that. That is one imposing fortress. I mean, even for this troll, it must be imposing. And they're running away. Okay, fortunately, I had melee troops waiting in reserve to fight on the walls here. Oh shit. The mammoth's going ape shit, everybody! Oh my god. These poor peasants. <laughs> Alright guys, I don't need to take this bamboo stick. Don't worry, it's got a little pointy end on it, and uh, we're gonna go fight that gigantic mammoth, okay? No problem, boss. Well, I guess it's tough to say no when your boss is a uh, mortal dragon. It does complicate the equation a bit. Okay, wow, the main bulk is just advancing here. Let's get over here. It looks like they're, they are actually going to take down the mammoth. And once we force them off this end, we're mainly going to just completely focus on the other end here. Just bring everybody over. Get this uh, celestial attack here. <laughs> oh my god. Well, at least these guys are Jade Crossbow Warriors, so they have decent melee stats. But slowly but surely, they are moving forward. Holy shit, they got three mammoths coming in through here. Oh my god, these poor peasants. Yeah, we gotta get them some reinforcements. Wow, these peasants and, of course, other warriors actually managed to hold back the elephants. It's tough not to root for Grand Cafe in battle, I think. Just like their warriors, they're mainly just regular people. Um, but they're very well trained and they're disciplined. And I, again, I just like love the peasant aspect. I just love these guys. They just like look like normal dudes with uh, sharpened sticks fighting gigantic troll monsters. God, they just keep coming. Too many people. The mass of people is too much, even for the trolls, and they're running away. These guys don't care, they're coming in. Good job, everybody, we won. World safe for another day. Shit. Well, I'm just taking money. God damn you. The majestic. Oh, okay. Well, not that big of a goddamn you because you guys are gonna get destroyed. Oh, you need to lift a finger. 
I need her to be in good shape. Because, as I said, I am fairly certain that we have uh, Ursin's Roar coming. Well, I, I know because the game literally told me it's coming, so... In any case, since we've last convened, really all I've been doing is just building up my economy and building up my military. We've confederated with our other neighbors here, and we control the entire Great Bastion. I've got armies stationed on every gate now, and they're all level 4, with almost all maxed out buildings. We'll get there. So, Grand Cathay is well defended. We are now in defensive al we are now in a defensive alliance with all of our neighbors. Grand Cathay stands together, even though it's not all united under our rule quite yet. And like I said, we're just slowly but surely building up what we can, where we can. And I just dump a bunch of money in there, build up everything. We've got so much money, like I said. It's ridiculous, especially because when you station your armies here in the bastions, you have a building which will half their upkeep. So you can have pretty sizable armies here, always defending. And then what I'm going to do, actually, is I'm going to hire like a peasant mob that will kind of roam around in the backlands to maybe close portals and keep order and do that kind of thing. Some very cheap, expendable army that is there for grunt work. So as you can see, like I said, I'm preparing for the great battle and we are upgrading our troops. We've gotten rid of all the peasants for Mao Ying and she is filling out her ranks with Jade Warriors. Still have our Iron Hail Gunners because now these have gold experience. And I'm also trying to give her a couple siege bits of artillery. We did replace our Astromancer finally. So we weren't able to get a soul last time because we were too slow off the draw. I wonder if she speed walks, will she be able to get there? Nice, she can. Okay, cool. Uh, I am going to enter the realm of Selenesh because I have not been there yet. And I hear it's probably the best one. We've got a nice uh, sort of phallic looking object here that we got to go investigate. And I'm interested to see what Slanesh will offer us as we get closer and closer. Surely a gift from... Okay, well, obviously let's avoid fighting until the, the end. Oh, well, then again. Oh no, never mind. The next level down is right there. Urgency is our watchword. Okay, so once yes, once you go through the portal, that's it. That's the end of your character's movement. I hate every time you go into the, the realms of chaos, it always readjusts the rotation angle. It bothers me. Because stupid little things like that bother me. Wants to fight the ogres, huh? Okay. Um, I'm gonna fight these ones on the map just to preserve as many of our troops as we possibly can. All right, so I'm gonna set us up on this here cliff. The power of a dragon and the might of Nankao, we can only prevail. Let's see what these are. <laughs> what this rock artillery can do. Well, we definitely brought artillery into the realms of chaos. Shit. Well, our artillery is attacking our own people. That's never good.
Well, this is definitely a confused battle. that guy alive as much as possible. Oof, this is not the battle that I wanted it to be. I took way more damage than I was hoping to. Okay. Jeez. Ugh, that sucks. Went from a decisive victory to a close victory. Well, we're gonna have to take casualty reinforcement, obviously. Let's move on. Oh, Jesus. None but Slanesh may dominate me. Okay. <laughs> the Majestic Defender. Oh, man, that's funny. Okay, this time I am not going to. I'm just going to take the decisive victory. Because apparently, my, the AI thinks I'm better than I actually am. So does she just need to get into the circle? Have a taste. You get the circle of gluttony. 20 grand. Plus 200 casualty replenishment rate. Plus 200 growth in all provinces. You must be lost. Close her up. We shall Just have our regular troops running around and Save dealing with any rifts here. But I think I'm going to have him go back to defending the Bastion. Oh no, they left the siege, apparently. Oh no, they didn't. What's this? Pleasure. Circle of Carnality. Plus 200 control in all provinces. That's not even that... I feel like that's not even that great. Man, we already have everything upgraded. To its maximum possible. Yeah, I'm gonna have to destroy that. I can take the economic kit. I gotta replace it with a control building. Where is... Okay, he's back here. <sighs> the struggle against the great enemy. Hey, it's Goldtooth. Man, he wants a trade agreement? Sure. Lots of economic activity generated there. Oh, so he's gonna attack the gate? Okay, I wanna defend the gate. I like defending the gate. Here we go. No reinforcements this time. That's it, eh? That's all you gotta tell him? Whatever. <laughs> I think it's kinda cute. Yeah, I don't think these guys are gonna make it. Oh, we got ladders docking over here. Managed to make some progress. Oh man. Jeez, do we the trolls? Crap. Once again, the peasants in there doing work. He's out of control. As all the peasants are just poking him in the heels. Let's 
Dante is going while they're chasing that after that thing. Yeah, you guys don't really need to do that. Man, distiller coming. At least it looks like we took everybody out of the front gates. I love that you can just have them sit on top of the gates and fire down. Just go from one side to the other. And now this has definitely turned the tide of this battle. Again, the gates continue to hold. Okay, I'm gonna see if she can encamp for a bit. Because we're getting closer to the center. Oh shit. Oh, I guess we're going down one. 60 grand, Circle of Paramountcy. Um, global recruitment duration, they got one turn for all units. Wow, that's actually pretty good. Uh, rank 9 for all units, but we must move on. Uh, I got so much money, I don't know what to do with it. Well, I guess I can, like I said, recruit that really basic peasant army. Uh, sure, this guy. <laughs> They're all the same. Okay, there we go. Five turns, we'll have a glorious peasant army. Shit. Well, I gotta fight them on the battlefield and hope for the best. Alright, here we go. It is our sworn duty to defend Cathay on any front for which it is threatened. That's right. Always heal your guys uh, when you have the opportunity, especially your big units. Yeah, let's blast some of these bastards. Sentinel is really taking care of them. Artillery is just destroying everyone. My mind oh, don't, is don't die, don't die. If it is required, run, get out of there, bud. Lighting the way for the defense. Wow, we won. 
I just hope we didn't lose. As long as we didn't get wiped out by any units, we might be okay here. Looks like we did lose at least one gunner unit. Uh, and we lost a Jade Warrior. God. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fight this one on the map, but I'm just gonna use like my heroes and artillery to finish them off. I don't lose any actual units. some of them at least. Let's keep healing him. This guy is not taking any damage at all. This guy is just a machine. Well, I don't know if we're going to be able to beat that guy. somehow recruit troops. Um, I think I do want Supreme Gunners just to give me the edge here. I don't know if I want... I might not have much choice but to wait here for quite some time is the thing. There we go. We'll go with that. Alright. <laughs> to the next one. Let's see here, 40,000 Gs, the circle of vain glory, all rank, all lords and heroes are rank up by 15. Okay, that is actually really good, <laughs> but yet we must move on. Good, decisive victory, exactly what I need, not going to mess with that. Uh, only lost 264 guys. Man, this guy is just <laughs> cutting through countless amounts of ogres. Gotta get that cargo from point A to point B, man. If he doesn't do it, no one else will. Okay, I am going to re rest and recruit here, though. Fortunately, we will have some units, I think, at lower strength. But at the same time, that's okay. We'll be a pretty high strength to take him on. So after a couple turns, we're ready to move forward. Just about all of our troops have been refreshed. So I think we're ready for the final battle here. Wow, oh, so the last one. <laughs> the Indolency. A serene domain of heavenly choirs and perfume scenes, lush grad, covers of verdant glades. A perfect place to rest your head, lie down, I insist. Come and rest. Come and rest here. You get 100 G's, some money, um, and that's it. Wow, this is like, not that good, honestly. She, she's pretty messed up after her chaos trip, but, you know, it's what happens, right? I mean, how, I don't know how you could see the things you see when you go into the chaos realm and not come, you know, not come out of it a babbling mess. Oh well, we get reinforcements. Apparently we can auto-resolve this and get a heroic victory, but I'm not going to do that because I 
I don't mind these battles at all, especially with a faction like Death with a faction like Death A, I think it'll be fine. So the Dark Prince's harem resides. A full-on incursion is not desired or warranted. We need only penetrate its outer defenses, and the courtesan shall reveal themselves. Begin at the Wall of Twisted Flesh. Disperse its defenders and capture the Statue of Perfection. This will give you a foothold and grant us supplies to reinforce for the struggle ahead. There are two other statues you will need to capture and so dominate the battle. Slanesh senses your desire to slay his chosen prince. Channel this to your own advantage, not his. Okay. Sounds good to me. Oh, the cat's scratching at the door. That's what I hear. I hear some sort of annoying noise in the background. I will not fail now. No, 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 no. I always forget that. You gotta turn off uh, skirmish mode with these, or else they will try and run away like this and will really hinder their attack. They just need to stand their ground and shoot things in the face. Like now. The nice thing about Slanesh is that his units have like no defense against missile units because they have no armor. They have to be able to close the gap quickly. Damn. I want these gunners to a little bit of a hit. But other than that, everyone else is doing pretty good. <laughs> it's just like, nope, nope, have that. <laughs> Gotta get everybody forward. Everybody moving forward. Took the first part. First layer is ours. Not good. <laughs> Not good. artillery for the next wave. Man, these poor demons are just getting cold and massacred. Back together. For the defense. I mean, I'm curious if I can just make her like. Can I just have these guys pretty much destroy everything for me? I want to save as much of my 
strength as I can for the defense. It's my three-person army. My mind is ready. See that chain lightning vibe. Ooh. their ammunition with supplies. Doesn't take that much. Heal you. Heal you. Don't even need to heal the sentinel. Celestial sorcerer. Lighting the way. Okay, I'm gonna have to withdraw our siege equipment. Yeah, I'm gonna have her transform back into a human for the defense. So she can she can heal for free. Although then again, I should probably save my magic for offensive magic when I can heal uh, with supplies. Man, these poor troops just exposed to unfathomable horrors. Okay, now that I actually know what I'm doing, set up a little bit more of a reasonable defense. Just build the best towers everywhere. Because I can. Got the main bulk of the troops in here. Okay, I'm gonna try and get my gunners up on these platforms quickly. Get them go, 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 go. You can afford to build the best towers. Looks like they're gonna do lots of work before you can get here. Move as winds. Stone and steel. Marching all the way. Gotta get through. Uh-oh, who died? I bet he was my hero. Oh, no. Oh, it's just my, uh, just my barricade. It's okay. Siege equipment will make it through okay. Oh, there they go. Okay, I want to draw the weaker units. Order and balance. Looks like you can withdraw them and then bring them back. Okay. All right, let's form up for the final beat down. Oh shit, they're coming up on their own. Step on him. Well, that was 
was nice of them to pretty much just waste their entire army to attack me there. Okay, this time I'm not going to make the same mistake and I'll have everybody a lot closer and ready to go when the actual battle starts. Just scores of disciplined warriors heading into the unfathomable, abominable pits of hell. Well, while I was moving my troops into position, we captured the enemy, uh, the enemy capture point. Oh, here they go! Here we go! We must kill this demon prince and take his soul. Dude, I'm not that scared of you. A fresh onslaught. Warriors, Come from behind too. Move us, win. From behind. Four towers are just annihilating them on the way over. Dragon God. Give our gunners actually something to stand and fire behind. How are these guys? Man, these guys got by our troops so easily. The Celestial yeah. Daughter. Oh, I see. They just, uh, there's a jury and they just kind of kind of walk by. That's annoying. But, I, this chariots, I mean, besides being minorly irritating, are pretty easy to take out. The prince is going to fight the Eternal Dragon. Uh, my money's on the Eternal Dragon. Pleasure pit. Just kind of grand all the time. We killed him. Is that it? The celestial daughter.
Yay! First D. They have no other way. The first soul harvested. When all four have been gathered, they will combine into a single light, revealing a shadow path to the Forge of Souls. Then Urson will be within our reach. But what's this? The tome consumes the soul's energy, reaching across time, revealing secrets. It was the Old Ones that shaped this world into a paradise. Yet the power they harnessed to move sun and rock could not be tamed. Raw magic erupted from the Great Cataclysm, flowing forth from a realm of chaos. So came the demons. They hunted the mortals, feeding on their souls. Yet one of their prey betrayed his kin and embraced the gods of chaos. They gifted him demonhood, and he became the first demon prince, Belakor. He clawed at the world, scarred it with his armies, reveling in the bloodshed. Those who seek power will always want more, and Belakor's lust was the greatest of all. Gods of Chaos, have I not fed you souls? Have I not given you the world? Give me more. Four gods punished the demon prince for his arrogance. They took everything. His armies, his power, his form. Cursed to roam the world as a shadow amongst the shadows, powerless for eternity. Damn the gods! Belakor has spent millennia planning his revenge on the Chaos Gods. What twisted scheme has his dark mind constructed? All right, beautiful. The Tome of Fates is sated. We have our first Demon Prince soul. There is little time to revel in the glory of what we have achieved, for we require three more souls if we are to illuminate the Bridge of Shadows and reach the Dark Master in his lair at the Forge of Soul. A victory to save her. Yes, there was a victory a to save her. Well, speaking of victories to savor, let's distribute the skills that we have, and then I think that's going to have to be it. For this particular sequence, I just wanted to get the first soul. That's all I really wanted. Well, she is going crazy. She has living nightmares. Your nightmares are real, not visions and illusions, but real horrors coming to haunt you. Well, hopefully that passed. Oh, she's got to go to the capital, that's right. Favored daughter. Anyway, so that's going to be it for this part. We've done pretty much everything exciting. And there's nothing more we can do. Now, my brother has confederated with the last cafe warlord. So that's it. It's just him and I hanging out.
and once I bring him over, we'll control the entire empire. And then I think it'll be pretty straightforward to grab the rest of the souls. Although I do want to make an incursion into the Chaos Wastes at some point. I wonder if we can just take these out if they'll stop spawning. Anyway, a goal for another day. So until that time, this has been the Comrade signing off, and you all take care.